Hello and welcome. This is Chris Hughes from BrainSmartSuccess.com and today I'm going to show you how you can use Twitter lists to find targeted people to follow and how to properly use these lists. So to start off with, this is my homepage. This is Who's Chris Hughes, my username, and I'm going to show you what happens, what uh, I have as my listed things from people. So right now I'm listed 181 times by different people and basically I'm just going to show you uh, I've got some PR, social media, marketing stuff, uh, friends from Buffalo, regular social media, coaches, uh, small business advisors, uh, different peeps, just a lot of social media stuff because that's my main focus. But <clears throat> what you want to be doing is you'll notice that people have these lists posted on their on their uh, Twitter homepage and what you'll notice is see here this is PR marketing social media so this is a list of people who are involved with this and a lot of the time I try to develop relationships with people who are in the same field as me because I believe in collaboration as well as helping make a win-win scenario for everyone and if you are in a certain niche I want you to search right now on Google if you are on Twitter and if you have people who are experts in your field look to see what kind of lists they're in as well as the list that they have personally created and what this is gonna do is gonna give you a list of people so you'll see there's following 386 for this list same things gonna happen for your people and you'll notice that the people who are in that specific industry are gonna be grouped into list together for you which a lot of the times you'll be able to tell how active a person is whether they're a spammer or if they're actually putting out good content by the lists that they're actually being placed on uh, a lot of the times you'll see people are I create like a spam list and I throw people onto that if they are uh, harassing me with links not developing a relationship and you know the things you don't want to be doing on social media <clears throat> and from this you'll see you can either choose to follow this list which will create a full flow of this information just like this so you'll see the tweets as they happen as I mentioned in the blog post but if you're trying to find people to kind of build up your following and to network a little more you're gonna click on people who are in there and check out their little bio see if it's someone that you want to be you know involved in if you want to talk with them and if you do go ahead and click follow and you can once you click follow you can add them to a list so this will be uh, looks like marketing and PR diva so she's big into marketing so you can add her to a marketing list something like that uh, to create a list you'll just go to create a list and add them to that you can go through you will see Melissa PR so apparently she's marketing PR uh, looks like somebody that might be interesting someone who I could get along with same thing with Sarunas here aviation CFO windsurfer it sounds like a great guy so golfer social media fan and you know what just follow him and what happens is a percentage of these people will be following you back but what the actual benefit of this is is you can pretty much weed out the people who are gonna be spammers by looking at their recent tweets as well as if they're engaging people and check out their listed so let's see this is thanks for listing me people like me PR social media uh, interesting aviation Florida and I just moved down to Orlando Florida so that's a good thing that I'll know more people in the area uh, you can even look for specific areas to find people who are in your local area to kind of build up a local following which I speak about that in one of my other blog posts on whoschrishughes.com but basically by following lists you're gonna be able to identify people who are out there who are the movers and shakers people who are making a difference influencing lives and you're gonna be able to connect with them and you know what you're not gonna have to do a lot of work because other people have already done the legwork of weeding out who's good who's not and the benefit of this to you is that you get to save time 
and that's a big benefit to you because I personally do not like spending time on things that aren't necessarily going to, you know, that someone else could be doing. So I like to kind of leverage my time, leverage other people's time as much as possible. So start using these lists and to learn a little more, go to the link that's below and read more on my actual blog. So I hope this helps and have a great day. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section. Have a great day.